I looked into the ocean Neath the willow trees The sun was setting in the west And the waves moved with the breeze Out upon a wave I saw a beautiful sight An ocean flower appeared there Its colors rich and bright A bird then flew low With white clouds over there Very exciting. We've been working on this project for 10 years. And I have the privilege of serving as the chairman of the board of directors here at the Ocean Institute. And I'm proud this morning to represent our board of directors on what is an absolutely monumental day. Ten years ago, we opened the wonderful facility that you see behind us, the Ocean Education Center. And we were so thrilled and excited when it opened, but we felt incomplete in a way because as we worked toward building that project, it wasn't complete because due to budgetary reasons, we had to cut something out of the project, and that was to build a new dock. Now, I want to introduce a couple of our team members as we're moving forward, and one of those is our design team. And we started working with them 10 years ago, and I think through this course, they often thought, well, is this thing really ever going to happen? And with most groundbreakings, you have a group of shovels and people with hard hats. Well, it's a little difficult to do that over the water, so we wanted to do something a little bit different. So we're going to be hoisting two flags, one for the Ocean Institute and one for the Maddie James Foundation. All right, let's give it a big round of applause. Our journey on the sea has now officially began. And as you know, at the Ocean Institute, we believe that experience is the teacher. And the two parts of this project are really going to embrace that theme. Over here to my right, we're going to be building a 100-foot long historic maritime pier. And that is going to be so cool. It's going to fit in with the Pilgrim and the Spirit of Dana Point. And in working with our Living History programs, that, as you may know, received the National Award from Walter Cronkite a number of years ago. So it'll have a capstan, it'll have a working crane, all the things that'll fit in perfectly in bringing those programs to the next level. And then here, extending 300 feet, 100 additional feet that way, 150 feet, and 150 feet that way will be our ocean science landing. And down at this end, there'll be a number of labs. We'll have a bioacoustics lab, a water chemistry lab, and in addition, way at the very end, will be a place where the kids will be raising white sea bass. So, I mean, it's just going to be a tremendous addition to everything that we're doing here. So when is this going to start? Well, it's starting today, and next week they'll be starting down at that end, and they'll be driving the piles. The floats, there's actually 17 floats that'll be coming here as part of this. As someone who's been a tremendous friend of the Ocean Institute for many, many years, and that's our own supervisor, Pat Bates. Thank you so much, uh, Dan, and I want you all to know it's certainly a, an honor and a privilege for me to stand uh, with you amongst you today. Uh, many, many, and most of you have done such heavy lifting to make this day come to fruition and certainly make uh, the Institute what it is today. Uh, and Maddie's service. Um... Good morning, my name is Collie James. Above all else I will ever be in this life, I am Maddie's daddy. On behalf of Maddie's family and the board of directors of the Maddie James Foundation, thank you for being here. And more importantly, thank you for making this beautiful day possible. This is not the type of day you really ever expect to have in your life. To mark the beginning of construction, of a magnificent learning facility that bears the name of your daughter. It's overwhelming. Among the rush of emotions I have felt as I contemplated this day, one very simple thought shined through. My daughter 
was an extraordinary gift from God, and getting to be and continuing to be her daddy is an incomparable blessing that, will t that time will never diminish. As parents, we carry so many dreams for our children, to make friends, to do well in school, to go to a good college, to find someone to share a life with, and one day to begin the process anew with a family of their own. For Kais and me, Maddie encompassed every great hope we had for this life. Last March, our dreams began to fade into memories. Until you. You picked up our dream, and in so doing, made Maddie's magic soar. In less than three months, you spread Maddie's story to all the ends of the earth. You sponsored more than 40 fundraising events. You voted, you walked, you ran, you put on a tuxedo, you volunteered, and you gave, generously and unselfishly. More than 4,000 people are a part of this miracle. To see this community, each of you, give so much to my little girl means no more than I could ever express in words. I wish I could thank every one of you personally for this gift, but we would be here until the grand opening and probably beyond. Still, I cannot help but thank a few special people. First, as always, Kaisa. Thank you for letting me be the daddy of this amazing little girl and for being the emotional heart of this campaign. Thank you, Wendy Peloso, for being, being the spirit and drive which made this dream come true. Today we celebrate not just the beginning of a magnificent facility, but the continuation of that magnetic quality Maddie shared with this world. Every friendship that begins here, every child feels the spark of learning for the first time here, every family that creates a lifelong memory here. Maddie will be a part of each one of those miracles. You can't wish for more than that as a parent. Knowing that your child makes her world, large or small, better for those who share it with her. In this, I know Maddie is happy and the dreams we had will still come true. We raise this banner on the new Maddie James Seaside Learning Center. Thank you, everyone. I know Maddie would be incredibly proud and happy today. I'd like to introduce Maddie's mom, Kaisa. The Ocean Institute is a very special place. Yes, the facilities alone are state of the art, but what really makes this place so amazing are the people who represent it. Maddie was well aware of this and considered her time here at summer camp one of the best weeks ever. The dedicated instructors and inspiring programs they implement took a little girl's love of the ocean to a whole new level, to a level of understanding the importance of preserving it. That little girl's love will now have a new home. It's a beautiful thing to know that the Maddie James Seaside Learning Center will make it possible for many more children for generations to come to learn to care about the ocean and to protect the animals that live in it. Through this center, thousands of children from all walks of life will have the opportunity to see the ocean through Maddie's eyes with wonder, love, and respect. The two wreaths you see represent the intersection of two organizations the Sea Star of the Ocean Institute, and the Sea Turtle of the Maddie James Foundation. While the relationship between us has grown during the past year and a half, our official journey together on the sea is now taking on a much more vital and long-lasting meaning. Maddie's four cousins, my nephews Zach, Tyler, Seth, and Tanner, will now take these two longboats and carry the wreaths out to the far end of each side of the planned ocean science landing, the longest element of the Maddie James Seaside Learning Center. As I sat there thinking out upon the beach, memories fell like raindrops on a lifetime out of reach. 
How this little ocean flower Could bless so many lives Standing tall upon the waves Her memory still survives As I wandered slowly Back through the trees The breeze whispered in my ear And this is what it said to me Seasons change And sometimes things fall apart But you must never forget The ocean flower in your heart I looked out into the ocean The moon was high above I saw the ocean flower Filled with hope and love There is still a breeze blowing Off the ocean shore tonight Because up in heaven there's a brilliant new light One that was too precious For this world to hold So she whispered her story That was to be told Seasons change And sometimes things fall apart Always remember the ocean flower in your heart. Seasons change, and sometimes things fall apart. But I'll always remember, and you must never forget. And you'll always remember the ocean flower. teacher at St. Anne, and the song again you heard was called Ocean Flower, and I mean, what a, just a magnificent song and memorial to little Maddie. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me get through this, because we want to give a big hip hip hooray for all the kids, and for all the future that this holds for the community. So please help me, one, two, three, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray.